Today our concept is relation between relation between angle of incidence and and angle of angle of refraction this is our today's topic okay that means relation between the angle of incidence that means i and angle of refraction that means r what is the relation between those two that is our concept to explain this concept just what we have to do is we have to imagine a person has fallen out of boat and screaming for help in the water at a point b okay what we have to be uh, imagine we have to be imagine this is a shore this is the that means we can call this one as a x x is the shore line x is the shore line and there is a person fallen from the boat that means uh, at the point b he was fallen and also he is screaming how he is screaming help me help me like that but you are at the position on the shore is a okay you are at the a and the person is at the b suppose if you want to save him okay how many ways you can take so in order to save the person we have so many paths that means he may directly coming from the uh, land land from the land to the directly this shore that means this is a water this is water and this water he is there that means whoever the person fallen he is in the, at the position b okay and this is the path he may come like this or otherwise he may come from here to here or he may come up to here and uh, he has to reach the position b so actually we are at the point a on the shore so that accident in order to save the person we need to travel a certain distance on land and certain distance in water why because we know that we know that we can run faster on land when compared to the when we can swim in a water actually directly this person if he reaches here and jump into the water he will reach here but which path he will take is only this path only he will take why why because why because we know we can fast runner on the land while uh, when compared to the swimming in the river okay that's why he has chosen that path actually it is advantages to travel a greater on land in order to decrease the distance in the water why because we may go much slower in the water okay we may go much slower in the water that's why he is choosing only that means uh, maximum possibility whatever the possibility there and that uh, whoever the person wants to be help him okay that person uh, runs fast on the land then he will enter into the water and reaches the b to save him okay uh, why we have to be take this one what is the relation between this one and this one you may have some doubt okay why because suppose if we know if we know the uh, what is the distance taken what is the uh, distance uh, is possible to save that person we can easily understand okay so the light is also choose the shortest uh, that means least time that's way okay once again i am going to be draw this diagram by by using the scale and pencil so this is this is the shore this is the shore and we are at the point a listen carefully we are at the point a and the person where he is he is at the position b he is at the position b directly you may come like this that means from a to b you can directly come okay but if you observe here suppose if you come in this direction very long distance you have to travel 
in the water that means very long distance you have to swim a very less distance you have to be walk on the that means run on the uh, shore okay but he may choose another path so what is that path is suppose the person may come from a to a to c that means long distance on the uh, land and less distance less distance in the water why because we know we can uh, fast run on the land when compared to the swimming in the water okay so this position i am calling as a c this position i am calling as a c that means the person may come like this or like this okay so why i have to calculate the path that's why we have to take one more point that is also ne very near by the c that one we can call as d and we have to be draw that one why we have to draw this one somebody may have doubt why because okay to know the least path we have to draw this another one that is the d and you have to take the normal this is the normal n n is the normal n n is the normal now here we have three paths one is like this directly another one is adb and another one is acb where c is the point on shore line okay corresponding to the shortest of possible times let us consider a point d let us consider a point d on shore line which is very close to the point c now we have to calculate how long how long from uh, b is c and d okay that means from the b how much distance these two are we have to calculate for calculating that one suppose if we draw a perpendicular line uh, de uh, this is the perpendicular line this is the perpendicular this is the perpendicular line this one we may call that one as a e that one we can be called as that one as a e that means this is a this is a 90 degrees so automatically this angle which is equals to the angle of incidence that angle which is equals to the angle of incidence why because it is the angle of incidence automatically it is also a angle of incidence so whenever this is angle of incidence for the same ray that's why it is also a angle of incidence okay so then if it is angle of incidence it is the it is the rarer media that means land and it is the it is the water it is the water that means the person is traveling from one medium to the another medium that means which medium to another medium that means air medium to the water medium he is traveling that's why the medium is changing means that is also called as that is also called as refraction that is also called as refraction then that angle is called as angle of refraction which is equals to the angle of refraction r is it clear to everyone listen carefully then de is the that means up to here the paths are equal and we have to equate these two paths that's why we have to draw a one more normal from this from this so this is the normal that means whenever it is equal to angle of refraction it is also equals to angle of refraction why because it is also a angle of refraction okay this point i am saying as f this point i am saying is f this is a right angle this is a 90 degrees okay now listen carefully the person may come from a to c then he has to reach the b we have to prove this this is the shortest distance that's why we have to calculate the paths that is uh, de that means de and fc de and fc or regarding that one by using our trigonometry we will take okay let the time taken to travel e to c and e to c and d to f we are calling that one as delta t that means the person is traveling from e to c the time is i am saying here time taken to travel to travel okay travel from e to c e to c e to c so same like that and e to c and okay 
e to c and also d to f d to f what i am saying here delta t what is the time delta t and also and also the speed the speed of the person on land on land the speed of the person on land i am saying v1 and speed of the speed of the person in water in water that means while swimming that one i am saying as v2 that one i am saying v2 we know the time and also the we know the velocity that means speed so what is the formula for calculating the distance okay the distance equals to time into speed time into speed distance distance we don't know we want to calculate that one that is we are calling that one as ec and time how much time it is taking delta t how much delta t and what is the speed in the air that is v1 okay. this one called we can call it as, as a equation number one so same like that uh, we have to calculate the path that means how much it is that how much it is that means df df this is also distance this is also distance okay what is the formula uh, time time means delta t and speed in the water what is the speed of that person okay v2 dec and df these two are path from first equation and second equation one and two equations ec by df ec by df ec means delta t into v1 by delta t into delta t into v2 if delta t delta t cancel that implies okay that implies what is the equation we will get is okay what is the equation we can get is ec by ec by df equals to v1 by v2 this is equation we can call as 3 now i and r be the angle measured between the uh, paths i and r is the angles between the paths okay by using the trigonometry we will calculate that one already in your test book uh, what they told is by using the help of your teacher okay you have to be uh, understood that one that's way from from triangle triangle edc okay from triangle edc what is the triangle edc e d c edc sin theta equals to formula opposite sin theta equals to opposite by hypotenuse sin theta that means theta means here i sin i equals to once again i am repeating this is the opposite sign this is the hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse listen carefully okay from the triangle from the triangle uh, edc from the triangle edc sin theta that means the, the their theta is i sin theta equals to opposite by opposite by hypotenuse okay that means their opposite is ec and the hypotenuse is dc similarly similarly from triangle fdc fdc sin of sin of just look in here sin of uh, dfc from the dfc what is the angle there r okay sin r sin r equals to opposite opposite means df hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse this is the uh, hypotenuse uh, this is the opposite for this triangle okay sin r what is the angle there sin r equals to sin r equals to same formula that is opposite by hypotenuse that is here opposite is df and hypotenuse is same that is d c therefore sin i by sin i by sin r equals to ec by dc by sin r df by dc if dc dc cancel that implies 
ஓகே இசி பை டிஎஃப் இசி பை டிஎஃப் இசி பை டிஎஃப் தேர் ஃபோர் சைன் ஐ பை சைன் ஆர் ஈக்வல்ஸ் டு இசி பை டிஎஃப் இசி பை டிஎஃப் which is equals to the that implies sin i by sin r equals to v1 by v2 v1 by v2 how we write is from equation 3 already this one already this one we, we call that one as a equation 3 from this equation ec by df equals to ec by df equals to what we can write is v1 by vt Uh, if you want you can write okay why because from equation 3 ec by df plus we have to be substitute v1 by v1 by v2 v1 by v2 okay this is the relation between the angle of incidence and angle of refraction in terms of speeds but if you want to express this one in terms of refractive index suppose if you want to say that in the refractive index why because thus to save person one should take uh, shortest path that means such path to be satisfy uh, that means here we have to calculate the smallest path means least time we have calculated here smallest path means whatever the path is less suppose if the distance is less the time taken to reach that is also less that means least time okay light can also choose least time light can also choose least time that's way suppose in this equation if we divide suppose if we divide with if we divide with velocity of light velocity of light in vacuum velocity of light in vacuum that is we are denoting with c okay on both numerator and denominator numerator and denominator denominator oh, that implies sin i by sin r equals to v1 by c by v2 by c v1 by c and v2 by c that equals to n2 by n1 how it came from the definition of or from the relative from the relative refractive index concept we have discussed already relative refractive index concept n2 by n1 is anybody don't know so just you have to verify that one okay now we have to do the cross multiplication that that means uh, if you doubt okay sin i by sin r equals to n2 by n1 that implies cross multiplication that means n1 sin i equals to n2 sin r this is called as this is called as snell's law this is called as snell's law this is called as snell's law from above equation what is the conclusion i would like to give is the ratio of speeds the ratio of speeds that means v1 by v2 which is equals to the ratio of refractive indexes of the two mediums i hope everybody understood okay thank you